Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. 2000 Toyota Echo 1.5 liter belt replacement. We're looking at the power string belt. Right back there's a 14 millimeter bolt, which you can get through the hole. Might need to use the 19 millimeter on this bolt here and turn the engine a little bit so you can get access to the hole. But once you do, you can probably use a uh, ratchet like I did in the 14 millimeter and uh, loosen the bolt. You can see the shield down there, wheel well shield right in here. Uh, 10 millimeter bolts in here, 10 millimeter bolts here, and a nut here to separate everything and get that out of the way, give you some access. Get up there, left to loosen, right to tighten. I'll go ahead and maybe grab this belt and I'll pull it down. Ugh. You can maybe, but might not need to loosen that there bolt as well. That's probably a 14 as well, just to give that a little bit of a pivot. But I think just pull it down like you're seeing. Ugh. Give you the slack you need. Take the belt off. Hmm. And the belt is off. And uh, there we go. We'll put the new belt back on. Probably get a pry bar in here somewhere. And pry in here between the power strain pump and the engine and tighten up that pump and belt. So right now I'm on the back side of the alternator and I can get my pry bar up here and you probably can too and we're just going to pry this way. Get that belt to tighten up. You'll probably be back there and continue to pry on it. It's actually not too bad there. That's probably about as much uh, free play as you want. I'll be needing to put the uh, camera down, but we'll put the pry bar back where it was and pry a little bit, hold it steady, and tighten up that 14 millimeter bolt while we're holding pressure on the pulley. So it doesn't move while we're tightening the uh, bolt, which can happen. Tighten up the belt. Tightened up the bolt, and it should be good. Gonna see the amount of movement I have, and then we'll uh, work on putting the uh, water pump, AC, and alternator belt back on. You may or may not have AC good idea to draw a diagram of the routing of the belt so yours might vary a little bit since I was already kind of down here to do the power string belt I thought it might be easier to do it down here so we got the belt coming around the uh, alternator up there then around the water pump here and then down and around and back up around here straight up to the alternator which is loose plenty of free play here actually and so I'll go up top and tighten up the bolt and you can see how to tighten and loosen this belt when we get up there. So here's a good look from down below. Here we are, 12 millimeter bolt here and 12 millimeter nut here. If you want to loosen this, you can. That makes pivoting this a little easier. Uh, I used a pry bar right here and pushed on the alternator to get it to go backwards. pry bar. We can maybe get in here somewhere carefully. Right back here maybe. We'll pry on this and tighten the alternator. Prying like so. 
pretty much right there. We'll just hold this tight and uh, then we'll tighten that 12 millimeter bolt and we'll check the tension maybe uh, down below or we can reach over here. Check the tension right there so I'm gonna put the camera down and tighten up this belt. Not a great shot, but you can kind of see how tight. Kind of see how tight the belt needs to be. And we'll tighten up this nut. Hmm. We should be good. We'll go ahead and start it up and listen for any squeaks. If you seem to have a belt squeal, you go ahead and tighten up the belts a little bit more. And just go ahead and do that until the squeal goes away. Most of the time that'll take care of any issues. Most of the time a squeal, especially if you're replacing the belt, is maybe uh, wasn't tight enough. So I hope this helps you replace your belts on your 2000 Toyota Echo 1.5 liter engine.